This is another Unreal Engine tutorial. This is the third part of my Unreal Engine UMG UI series. In this video, we're going to learn how to install the common UI plugin and use it to build a simple pause menu. So here's my current setup. When I hit play and I hit the P button, I have set up a pause menu system. So you can see the there's a slight transition when you when it uh, pops up on the screen, unlike the traditional one where it's very abrupt. When I go to options, it's a stackable option here. I could go back and then transition from there and I could hit quit and it would just quit the menu. So we're gonna learn how to build that using common UI. Let's go. So first off, go under the plugins and search for common UI and activate that and then restart the editor. Once you started, um, Create some folder here for the structure. I uh, already created mine. So under the UI folder here, I'm just going to right click and select uh, widget blueprint. And I'm going to search for common user widget. Select that, give it a name. I'm going to call it base. Open that up and search for the canvas panel. Drag that like so. And then search for common activatable widget stack. That's what we want. Just going to quickly anchor that like so. And then put it in the middle. Cool. Save. And let me dock that. And then we're going to create a couple of functions here. So go under the graph and hit on functions. So first we're going to create a function called push widget. We're going to reference that common activatable widget variable and we're going to say push widget. So we're grabbing that function, hook that like that, and we're going to parameterize this uh, function. So drag this activatable widget section here and drop it to the function like so to create a parameter. Cool. Save that. Next, um, another function. This time we're going to call it remove widget. Gonna do something similar get that and then this time search for remove widget and hook that up that and do the same thing parameterize that function cool so that's all we need to do here um, go back to the content drawer let's create the menu the user interface so right click select user interface then widget blueprint and this time select for common activatable widget so this time I'm going to create one and name it POS menu and I'll quickly create one. So just here search for the canvas panel and then we're going to search for the vertical box and quickly anchor it in the middle. I'm going to reset this guy, set this to 600 by 500 and put that in the middle like so next we're going to search for text and drag it like that and probably 35 and change it to post the d cool and then search for buttons so we need those buttons and just drag it like that um, change the background color so you could select a color here drag it like so like that to remember the color later next search for text drag it like so uh, for the button here I'm just gonna quickly name this to uh, resume and the text I'm gonna change it to resume and also add some padding so i'm gonna put a padding of 50. i'm just gonna select that button duplicate it a couple of times so the second button is going to be called options and the text under it is called options and then last button is quit and the bottom under it is the text is also called quit and we'll also add a blur so drag a blur and then just anchor that 
all the way to the side reset that and I think if I put the offset to zero and the zero it would um, cover the entire area and change the Z order to minus one and for the blur strength change that to probably 0.15 and that should be good enough so go back to the content drawer here and we're just gonna quickly duplicate this so, and this one is gonna be called options menu and then just swap out some information here so options we're gonna we're not gonna implement the functionality here I'm just gonna put some placeholder text so here I'm just gonna put a text block here put a padding of maybe 10 this is gonna be sound and then I'm just gonna duplicate that and this is music and we also need a button so for the button just drag it like that on top top here so it's not covering the entire canvas just gonna reset those there change this to 200 by 50 and add some text some text also I'm gonna change the bottom color to here and the text I'm just gonna call it back cool so we haven't wired any functionality yet but let's first hook up the um, the let's first hook up the widget to the viewport so go under the third person here open the blueprints folder and then the bp third person character so search for the event begin play so we, we want to hook up at the end of this so i'm just going to create a custom function a custom event and say add widget from here i'm going to drag and say create widget Look for that node and for here I'm just select like, uh, WB base which is the one we just created and add to viewport that and at end here add widget call that custom event cool and next we're gonna bind some keys so first right click and search for keyboard P so I'm using the P keyboard here and then I'm gonna I actually need to create a reference here so I'm just gonna quickly disconnect that create a reference here which I think I already have created here so I'm just gonna delete that and we do that again so promote to a variable I'm gonna call this widget reference like so hook that up like that and drag that in here so I could use it and from here I'm gonna say push widget and on press push that the one that we want is the pause menu so let's quickly test this out and hit play and hit P all right so the pause menu is working but the background is not proper so if I go back to my pause menu here uh, the background blur instead of 15 it should be 15 Point 0.15 should be 15 and I'll probably do the same here on the options menu so hit that and I'm gonna hit play now and hit P yeah now I get the background view uh, background blur um, now the functionality are not wired yet so let's do that so first let's go back to the third person character so because we want to set the input mode so search for input mode to UI only and get the player controller like so and hook that up to that so right now it's a little bit cramped in here I'm just gonna move that comment and say pause I'm also gonna put a comment here uh, add widget cool save now let's wire them up so first on the pause menu here go under the graph and we want to initialize so on init 
Event initialized, we want to get the player character. And we want to get the um, cast to be to the third person, BP third person character. And then we want to get the widget reference. So get widget reference. And we want to promote this as a variable. So hook that up like that. And hook that up like so. And the rest here we don't need. So you can delete that. So for the resume button here, click on on click. And we want to get that reference to this one. So on resume, we want to remove the current widget. So here, say remove widget and we want a reference to self so we want to remove this current widget the post menu save and then on the options menu uh, click on on click there get reference to that widget again and this time you want to push widget hook that up like so and for the activatable widget class, select the options menu this time. Save. And then for the quit button, just we don't even need the reference. We just uh, say um, quit game. That should be it. Save. Now jumping back to the options menu, we implemented this back button. Um, so we need to kind of do the same, but we need a reference to that same uh, widget. So on init here, go up, uh, get the player controller, player character, cast to BP third person, hook that up like so, get the widget reference, and promote that as a variable and hook that like that and we don't need any of these we just need this drag it up a little and basically we want to say get that and remove widget which is a self and write it up like that compile save hit play and then hit the pause menu it's blurred, resume, I'm back, and I don't have control of the mouse. So go back to the pause menu there, and when on resume, you get back to search for input mode, and search for game and UI, and get the player controller, and hook it up like that and save let's try it again so play hit the pause button and assume back to the game pause button options i'm taking the, here back but i don't see that pause button back there so let's see what's wrong let's put it in the middle uh, so i'm just going to anchor it here and play again so pause options i get this options hit back and back i hit quit and i'm out of the game so there you go how to use the common ui to build a post menu hope you like this video thumbs up thumbs down please subscribe to the channel cheers bye for now